Hello, hello, this is Roberto and this is the HVAC is my channel. Uh, today we're going to be talking about One Story Home Part 2. Okay, so in this video we will show number one, project information, how to fill that out. Number two, we need to check on the orientation. And number three, we're going to add windows and doors. Okay, so let's get into it. In order to put the project information, you have to go to this icon right here. It says project information or you, the shortcut. The shortcut is F2. So we're going to go there and then you have in here customer, you have contractor. You can also change that to designer, right? So designer or contractor, no problem. You can also put the site and the job number. And here is where it comes very interesting. So you have to choose the orientation of your building or your house. Okay. And then finally, you're going to put some notes in here and check on the weather location. The weather location with is very important because that depends on the location. Okay. So that that's going to give you the outdoor design temperatures. So in other words, what is most important in the project information? I would say you can maybe make some mistakes here and there, but you don't want to make a mistake on the project, on the weather location, because that's going to decide what is your out outdoor design temperatures. Okay, so let's start with it. So my customer's name. So let's say we have a John Smith. See, John Smith. Okay. Company, we don't have any company. City, city is going to be, for example, Octon. Octon, State, Virginia. You can always put zip code, let's see, 22124, okay, zip code. You can always phone, put the phone information, the cell phone or email or web. Now, if you are a contractor, for example, you are in charge of the project, you can always put a name, say, in this case, Adinson, see, Adinson Salazar, okay. And then say the company is, uh, you can always put it in capital letters, no problem. So there's going to be AJ's heating, so for example, and air conditioning, 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 LLC. There we go. The address, you can put in CD Lorton, and then in here, Virginia. Okay, you can put a zip code or email or even the web. Okay. So what is the web say that AJS <clears throat> hitac.com. See, so we're filling out pretty much all the information that uh, 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 this is very much optional. You can put as much as many details as you want, or you can put zero details. And also uh, just to be a little bit picky, let's put everything in capital. Adinson Salazar, see, Octon. Octon and then John Smith. John Smith. There we go. Okay, so we have the customer information. We have the contractor information. We can put the site, the sites, the site place where this is going to be constructed. You can always put in here Fairfax, for example. Fairfax. There we go. And then the number. This is going to be your code or whatever you're calling to this uh to this project let's put this is gonna be a manual there we go manual jsd manual j which is heat load calculation comma s which is equipment selection and d which is duct design okay so now prepare by you can put in here date and prepare prepared by uh, the date could be today okay so that's going to be let's see the 12th Okay, December the 12th, 2022, and then prepare by HVAC is mat. HVAC is mat. See? My initials, HVAC is in my channel. All right. So now the orientation is also very important. How do you see that? So in our project information, in our envelope values, we saw that the our orientation has to be south. So you see in here, the orientation says front door. So in the front door, we have options, front door, house, house front, building front. So we're just going to put the front door. The front door has to be facing south. There we go. Notes, this is going to be a single zone system, the system split, 
split type. There we go. You can also put the manufacturer. You can put train. You can put Goodman. You can put carrier. This is only the, the, the information you any any relevant information you can consider. Okay. So very importantly, most importantly, you need to choose your weather location. So see, this is based on the county. So this project is located in Fairfax County. So we're gonna go here, and I already created my libraries. So that's why I have Fairfax. Virginia County but mainly this Fairfax right here big Fairfax Virginia County right there we go and if you want to make some changes in your weather location you can always go here and then you can always change all the details in here see based on the your clim climate weather station okay so we can go that deeper on that later absolutely but now we're going to check on this see we have our design temperatures but if you want to put it in default see you have this you have this that's by default okay you can press f8 and you have it in the default all right okay so now that we have everything in here let's go down see and then we have operating hours right here see operating hours is not relevant fuel data not relevant cost data not relevant for now and baseboard data not relevant so mainly we want to fill this out in order to obtain our outdoor temperature for heating and cooling based on the weather location possibly in other videos we're gonna make how to create weather locations because this is very important okay so that would be for the project information now let's go to the project to the orientation for the orientation we said the front door is south is facing south so when we go to right draw as you can see here so as of now we're going to number one need to draw our door so we go to the hvac shape, shapes toolbox so we go to the door and we're gonna make a door right here in the front so this door is gonna be three feet wide and then we can always see how tall it is so you right click so it's three by seven seven inches height okay seven feet height now in here you can always put in here in the materials non door entry entry door so that way we have already our uh, our u values and our insulation okay there we go so now that you have that see in here it's saying the orientation is actually south but let's let's make sure that our orientation is correct because this is sometimes very tricky what if my orientation if you can see in here the compass my orientation is right here see so if when you click in the front door, it says Southwest, which is wrong. We want it to be South, but many people get confused by this because whenever they say, so, oh, the orientation of this building has to be South and my door has to be facing South. If you put this compass South, see, this is facing South this is not correct because this compass is actually the true north this compass is, lo is is actually telling you that this north is going to go to the north pole right so in other words so if this is north so your door is facing south i mean facing north see if this north is going down this is facing north let's check it, it, so if this becomes complicated just go to the front door right click and it says north which is incorrect the front door has to be facing south therefore let's do it up see it's it's the, the, the if the north is up of course going down is south so see you can go here it says south that's another way to check that's very important orientation makes a lot of issues so be careful about the orientation and number three we're going to add uh, windows and doors so for the windows and doors we're going to add see in here we have the building and then windows uh we already selected this window so what we can do is just copy paste so i'm going to put in here copy paste we just hold control okay let's do this there you go you hold control and you copy right and also another trick in here is the following i don't want the building to be selected so you can always lock the building see if you lock the building then 
and you click in here. The only problem with that is you will not be able to do anything either with the doors or windows. So we're going to unlock it. There we go. And everything is good. So now we're going to select more windows. So see, I'm going to copy these windows, put it right here. Okay. So we have a window here. We have another window there. There you go. Okay. So we're adding windows here, windows there. Okay, we're gonna have another window, right? Oh, we have a sliding glass door. We have another window right here. See, let's go here. Copy. I'm holding control to copy. Okay, yeah, now we have a window there. Now I'm going to click there, hold control, drag, and then I have another window there. Okay, now I don't see any other window. I have a small window right here. Hold control, put a window right here. Okay. And then we're going to change on the dimensions. This could be possibly, this is going to be maybe one and let's put four in here. Okay. And you, you're going to, you're going to have these dimensions based on the floor plan. Okay. So see, you don't, I don't see any other windows. I see one window in here. When you go here, you hold control, you drag automatically it's going to change to horizontal, hold control, drag. Okay, so we're going to put this a little bit on the line. There we go. And then we're going to move this to the side. There we go. So we have all the windows already. We don't have the glass door though. See, in here we have a sliding glass door. We're going to put a window there. See, a window there. And then we have all the windows and we have the entry door and also if you want to change the orientation of your door see it's it's going inwards you can always open in top right open in bottom left see for example and then it's going to change o opening bottom left you can also do opening bottom right see bottom right and that's the one they want see opening bottom right okay you have options now for the a sliding glass door which is this part so what we're gonna do is number one we need to change the dimensions of that so this might be width say seven let's check on seven that's kind of long but let's see if it's about seven no it might be six let's put six in here six okay there we go so it's six the height cannot be five the height is gonna be seven see there we go Okay, so we have a sliding glass door, but as of now, this is a window. So what you're gonna do is go here, like we showed in the other video, right click, instead of low is single, we're gonna add, instead of operable window, you're gonna put a sliding glass door and say, okay. So now it shows like a, sli a sliding glass door. There we go. So now that we have every single window and we have also the door, and we have the, the, the windows and everything. Now, absolutely, you have most of the items here. All right. So, as we said in here, in the door, that door is to check the orientation. Now, for this, for this video, we also, I need to make sure that we understand the concept. We only, we're only gonna draw the doors that are exposed exposed to the unconditioned spaces so that's why we don't draw the door the interior doors for example the bedroom is gonna have a door great room owner's bedroom closet all of them have interior doors however you don't want to you don't need that because all all every place inside is going to be conditioned whatever is connected to the outside is unconditioned so that's why we put a door here okay we also need to put a door in the garage because that's also unconditioned space okay so what we can do is control c or just hold control drag it and then you can just place it right there see it's unconditioned all right so i in, in the next video we're going to be talking about the work sheets work uh, so actually this part the worksheet and then we're going to be talking about more about infiltration and other aspects of this design all right i hope you enjoyed this video and if you did hit the like button and subscribe thank you